Hello, this is Guava Moment. So, remember this thing? I've had a bunch of people commenting uh, lately that they think that the formula I made, the blue and the red cycle, should be added together, not multiplied. And I didn't think I explained this really as well as I could have, so I'm just gonna go through it one more time and then show you an improvement I made. So just to recap, blue has to go through all flip-flops with a 2 to the power 41 blue flip-flops, and then it will hit the sink. That will start red going. Now if red were to go and complete its loop at that point with blue sitting on the sink, and then you know red would go through, it would input, grab and output, then yes, we would add the cycles together. But that's not what happens. Red, once blue hits that first sink, red goes through, hits this sink and stops. Then blue will again have to go through everything before red will make its second trip through. And then blue will have to go through everything again, and then red will make its third trip through. And so on until red makes its 2 to the power of 37th trip through and actually inputs a new one and drops it here. So that's why you have to multiply them together. Every single time red hits the sink, blue goes. And red hits the sink 2 to the power of 37 times, so I have to multiply them together. Uh, one of the p people who commented uh, that he thought that they should be added together said I would be able to add more time with a bunch of sinks. That actually kind of got me thinking. Okay, welcome to this solution. Let's just go with blue. Um, it's blue is pretty much the same thing, although I added in an extra flip-flop. There are 42 blue flip-flops now. Uh, and one of the things that really helps slow this down is that the first loop is now this big square. This had the effect of increasing the average path length for blue from 6 uh, to 15 cycles. So for blue to go through this whole thing once, 2 to the power of 42 times 15 cycles. That's how long it'll take for blue to hit this one sink. For red, red now, I managed to cram in another red flip-flop, so there are 30, 2 to the power of 38, or there are 38 red flip-flops now. The first one has to go through all of these sinks, so whenever blue hits the sink, red advances once, and then blue will have to go through the whole thing again, and red will advance once. And all of these sinks! So, uh... Red's travel time no longer is important. I had to, uh... Do quite a lot of math in Excel here, because once... Since there's only one sink, once... Blue hits a sink, and let's say... Red is on this sink, once blue hits... Red will just go travel down, you know, to whatever the next sink it hits, while blue is going. So red's travel time is completely unimportant. We just need the number of red sinks. And there was a lot of uh, math, a lot of Excel involved. Can you just believe me when I say that red hits 5 trillion sinks before it actually inputs a new thing? So that's 2 to the power of 42 times 15. That's number of cycles for blue to hit one sink. Times 5 trillion number of red sinks that red hits before it actually inputs and drops a thing. Times 11, the total number of times the whole thing has to go to output 10 oxygens, times 11 minutes, over 260,000 cycles, like before. New answer, 290 quadrillion years. So, quite a bit longer. It's, <laughs> I don't know, 26 quadrillion years, 290 quadrillion years. It's both kind of incomprehensible. But that just goes to show that uh, this... They're the one I showed last time. Not necessarily the slowest solution, there might be slower out there. I would love to see something slower, I would love to be able to say quintillion in a video for some reason. Aside from that, obviously. But, uh, yeah, this has been Guava Moment, this has been an even slower solution, and I hope you enjoyed that. Well, see you next time.